on his own. Dmitry Vladislavovich, uh, uh, please start. Well, the broadcast is on now. And dear colleagues, uh, the, and I would like to greet the other, the other members. Well, let me start um, uh, the 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 session of the Distinction Council um, that's dedicated to uh, the defense of uh, um, of uh, research thesis. Uh, written by Grybanshikov Ivan Valerievich, um, uh, seeking a degree of uh, political in political sociology uh, in the specialism 22005. Uh, and the topic is the um, influence of the state on, the, on ex extremist discourse. Um, and I would like to declare this session open. Uh, uh, the act of St. Petersburg University dated uh, 14th of January 2020. I, uh, Dmitry Vladislavovich Ivanov, uh, Doctor of Sociological Sciences, Professor, Head of Department of Theory and History of Sociology of St. Petersburg University, uh, was um, uh, was uh, appointed uh, Chairman of this Distinction Council in accordance with uh, the Act of St. Petersburg University um, uh, that stipulates uh, uh, the uh, distance uh, mode of uh, holding decree, uh, holding us uh, the station council sessions. Uh, we are conducting this session uh, online. Uh, the members of the station council uh, are Andrei Viktorovich Alenikov, Doctor of Philosophical Sciences, uh, Associate Professor and Professor of the Department of Catholic Studies in Pittsburgh University. To, can you hear us? Yes, I can. And uh, also uh, another member, Dmitry Petrovich Gavr, Doctor of Sociological Sciences, Professor, Head of Department of Public Relations and Business. Uh, St. Petersburg University. Can you hear us? Uh, hello. Yes, I can hear all of you, and we can see you all. Thank you very much. Um, Maya Artashesovna Atsvasaturu, Doctor of Political Science, Professor of the Department of Creative Inter Innovation, uh, Administration and Law of Petrogors uh, State University. Can you hear us? Thank you very much. And also, p part of this is Gary Pollock, PhD, uh, City, City Univer Manchester City University. Uh, can you hear us, Gary? Yes, I can hear you, and I can see everyone as well. Good to be here. Thank you, Gary. And. Uh, all members of the station council are here, uh, and um, the defendant uh, uh, can you hear us. Um, yes, uh, Ivan Grubeshkov. And so we can hear everybody, and so we again. I would like to remind you that we are uh, in distance um, mode. Uh, connecting to each other, and uh, also an audio-visual uh, recording is taking place uh, and uh, broadcast uh, live on the website of St. Petersburg University. And also, mm, this uh, broadcast is accompanied by interpretation uh, from Russian to English and from English and into Russian. We well, this may create uh, some difficulty and uh, slows down our uh, work a bit. But uh, I wish you understood the, uh, that we needed to do that. And uh, according to federal law, dated twenty third August nineteen ninety six. Uh, 
St. Petersburg uh, University was entitled uh, uh, the, t to be able to grant uh, its own academic degrees. Uh, uh, the, t uh, in terms of the uh, uh, th this, uh, well, all the work, all the uh, 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 questions um, uh, have been submitted, but also uh, others can submit uh, their questions, uh, but in accordance with the regulations of St. Petersburg University, uh, 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 the, it need, well, in order to speak up, uh, we need to register for it uh, in a registry list. Um, um, and uh, now the agenda. Uh, the agenda uh, consists of the following. A short presentation of the uh, chairman of uh, So the dissertation council uh, consists of uh, five members. Uh, all five members um, are online, and uh, therefore they are participating. And therefore, we are uh, starting our work. Uh, and uh, again, uh, the the term of work is two hours, and the agenda is as follows: uh, a short presentation of the chairman of the decision council uh, regarding. Uh, the paperwork um, relating to the distension that uh, has been received by the distential board, and um, that's up to five minutes. Then a short presentation of the defendant of the uh, seeking this degree um, uh, of up to 15 minutes, uh, and questions to the uh, defendant um, uh, regarding what we've heard uh, in the presentation. Fourth, uh, five minutes uh, for answers uh, from the defendant. Uh, fifth, uh, uh, all members of the station council will take turns uh, to read out, uh, out their reviews. Um, uh, Ten minutes per speaker. Number six, um, uh, the chairman uh, of the station council um, will um, uh, read out uh, his uh, review, and then number seven, uh, answers of the uh, of the author of the station, uh, not more than 15 minutes, um, and then an open discussion, um, and uh, any uh, any members of the station council can ask a question, and also people on the floor from the floor can ask a question uh, and or sent by email in this context um, the the uh, then um, uh, number nine um, uh, concluding answers of the defendant uh, of not than five minutes uh, then uh, uh, the present the review of the uh, academic advisor of not more than three minutes, uh, then a five-minute discussion before uh, open voting as, uh, takes place, um, and uh, the broadcast uh, during during this uh, del these deliberations uh, are is switched off, um, and and uh, after that uh, we're going to have an open uh, voting procedure and an open count by the dissertation council chairman and also entering the data into the minutes of the uh, of the session and then uh, a verdict uh, on the resolution to 
to award a degree or not to award a degree is then uh, taken and then a concluding statement from the defendant of not more than two minutes. Do you have any questions? If there are no questions, then we'll start going through our agenda and uh, first uh, a short uh, pay the short um, uh, presentation of the uh, chairman the dissertation of Ivan Valerovich Grebenshikov uh, seeking a degree of candidate of sociological sciences in speciality 22.00.05 uh, uh, political sociology on the topic the influence of the state on the development of extremist discourse uh, was accepted for defense uh, uh, by act of um, the academic secretary of St. Petersburg University dated 14th of January 2020. The dissertation council was then uh, appointed and established. Uh, uh, Grebenshikov Ivan Valesh uh, wrote uh, his uh, dissertation a research uh, uh, in St. Petersburg State University uh, under the guidance of a uh, 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 doctor of sociological sciences, professor, uh, 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 professor of sociology and poli politics, um, political and social process of St. Petersburg University, uh, Professor Valery Dmitrich Vinogradov. The number of publications uh, in which uh, the main, um, the key uh, concepts of the dissertation, uh, number six, uh, and all of them, and four of them are published in the in the uh, list of the um, the, uh, the Education Ministry of Russian Federation and. Uh, but um, there are no publications in the Web of Science or Scopus uh, uh, journals. Uh, the, uh, but the paperwork uh, it conforms to the guidelines of, uh, of, of, dec of awarding this degree. And uh, the curator of the dissertation council uh, work um, uh, Larry Victor on uh, uh, Khrushchev has all the uh, paperwork, and therefore we we can ask uh, her if uh, do you have any questions so far? Do you have any questions? No, so far no questions, and therefore we are going to proceed down the agenda and uh, the second item is uh, the presentation of the def of the author of the dissertation uh, i'm ready to present my you up you have up to 15 minutes dear dear members of the stage council dear chairman of the session i would like to introduce uh, to you the key points of my work on the topic the influence of the state of the development of experience, and um, I understand that uh, there may be a cut uh, uh, in um, uh, signal. So uh, hopefully, I'm going to now um, upload my dissertation uh, to present my uh, slides. Well, it's uh, it's going to be now uh, seen. For all of you, yes. I hope you will all you all see it. If uh, if there's anybody uh, here that uh, cannot see the presentation, then please uh, raise your hand. If you all see this, uh, the relevance of the topic is at once uh, at several levels. First, uh, from a formal point of view, extremism is defined as a threat to national security both in the system of internal political risks and among external factors of influence. On the other hand, a significant number of extremist crimes are recorded, a large number of sentences are passed, uh, which constitutes an impressive basis for correlating the levels of extremism as a sign and as a social phenomenon. 
in many ways uh, all of the above factors from form the next level of relevance and relevance of the uh, target issues uh, the development of public circulation with the concept of extremism from the media to the uh, to the academic space uh, thus all of the above forms a stable theoretical and practical discussion space around the concept of extremism well the object of the research is the russian discourse on extremism the subject of study is the structurally substantial component of the influence of the state on the development of domestic discourse on, on extremism. The purpose of the study is to determine the mechanisms, attitudes, and efforts of state influence on the design and the promotion of the concept of extremism in a system of specific meanings and connotations. To achieve this goal, the following principal tasks were solved. determination. Well, these are the main ones. Um, determination of the characteristic features of the current conventional meaning of the concept of extremism, designation of key actors involved in extremism discourse, uh, determination of the structure, hierarchy, goals, and functions of participation in the target discourse of the state and its agents, determination of the uh, of the political attitudes of the state of the in the target discourse formation presentation of the results of the state's influence on the discourse uh, on extremism. The general, general di hypothesis is in the study was the assumption that the domestic conventional features of the concept of extremism, as well as the profile, the discursive formation are determined by the influence of the state. The general hypothesis is specified, specified in particular hypotheses. The development of the domestic discourse on extremism is governed and dependent on the state. Fixing the current characteristics of the discourse on extremism is ensured by the participation in the profile discourse of the differentiated structure of state agents with a high specific gravity of legitimacy. The theoretical and methodological uh, basis of the study is, first of all, the constructivistic structuralism of uh, Bourdieu, which uh, Bourdieu, which allows one to concentrate research attention on the objective structural elements of the social space, independent of the consciousness and uh, a will of agents capable of directing or suppressing certain social practices or ideas. This constructivist methodology allows us to demonstrate the existence on the other, on the one hand, of the predefined social genesis. Genesis of patterns of perception, understanding, thinking, and action, and on the other hand, of social structures. Uh, at the same time, the material of the analysis undertaken is the target extractive formation formed around the problematization of extremism. For the greatest reliability of the obtained research results, the work combines the internalist and the externalist approaches to the analysis of information. The internalist approach used in the first chapter focuses on the text. Uh, is a, a, a sufficient and autonomous source for understanding extre the extremism system of meanings, system of meanings. Uh, uh, the externalist approach um, implemented in the second chapter part of this distinction involves the correlation of the text with the characteristic and significant characteristic and significant qualities of its producer, social and other own contexts. Thus, the study of the stated problems are two levels, and the subsequent subsequent mutual correlation of the results increases the degree of reliability of the knowledge gained. To organize the form of modern knowledge about extremism, of extremism uh, the concept of ideas of the discourse of uh, Michel Foucault's theory are used in which the main field of, for the scientific study of dissertive practice is the discourses associated with the production and function of power as an auxiliary tool for diagnosing the order of relevance uh, of the concept of extremism, the phenomenon of social reality, as well as of re uh, evaluating the symbolic effect of the profile disc of the discourse, the postmodern paradigm of the text analysis of um, Baudrillard is used. Thus, uh, the, the methodological level, the theoretical premises of constructivism are projected onto the space of the large communicative events in discourse, accompanied by this, this dispositive analysis of uh, the system of profile discourse phase. In order to present the characteristic of and conventional features of extremism in modern domestic uh, a connotation of target and related concepts, uh, an analysis was made of scientific and regulatory sources 
of the connotation of target and related concepts, context, concepts to establish the structural dispositions of the subjects for the promotion of consolidation of the main substance characteristics of the target audience. You have, uh, could you, unfortunately, uh, I couldn't get in touch with the chairman. Please, uh, could uh, Ivan uh, re-upload uh, the presentation, please? Um, dear members uh, of the session, are there any problems? Can you not hear me? Everybody can hear you, everybody, but please, uh, could you re-upload your dissertation, uh, your presentation, please? Yes, probably something has gone wrong. Um, Can you see it now? Can you see my presentation? Yes. Yeah, the presentation is uh, on the screen. Well, sorry. Um, so I stopped at the statistical uh, data. Uh, we used uh, data of the Internal Affairs uh, Ministry of the Russian Federation, data of statistical statistics, judicial department information, the Supreme Court of the Russian Federation, the statistic of the largest integrators of information, Google, Google um, uh, Yandex, uh, to obtain qual quantitative indicators of the scientific interest in the problem of extremism, as well as the presentation of the relevance of the targeted discussion in the public space. The operational navigation systems of the largest integrators of scientific and new news materials, electronic database, e-library, Russian National Library, uh, Yandex News System, as uh, were used. The study uses a secondary sciences uh, secondary analysis of the materials of expert information analytical reports, research papers on the specialized issues of different uh, government agencies and law enforcement. Uh, the following points should be highlighted as the main results of the study. The first of all, um, the distinction of normative foundations in determining the essence of extremism in Western and Eurasian use is formulated. The Western legal model defines the significance of extremism uh, through the ideological aspects of the normative nature of liberal values uh, or values of liberal democracy. The Eurasian model defines extremism through the normativity of, of state power, regime, or system. Uh, the, forms, uh, the forms of mimicry of the domestic political discourse on di extremism in the, in the foreign political aspect are determined. For international use, agents of the Russian bureaucratic field are transforming the concept of extremism into the concepts of threat to national security or criticism of government officials. Based on the results of summarizing the totality of approaches to identify extremism, the conventional features of the concept are identified, among which it is worth highlighting the antagonistic normativity of the current government, Reproachment, reproachment, uh, reproachment uh, with the system of meanings of radicalism, diffuse multiplicity uh, and dynamism on forms. Based on the results of the, this discussion of the history of discussing of problems of chism in, in Russia, a periodization of the development of the discourse of chism is proposed within the framework of which the problematic problematization of autism has gone from a peripheral discursive formation to, to the position of one of the discursive dominants uh, dominating uh, <coughs> highlights in the public sphere. As, par as part of the study of the uniqueness of the development of the discourse on the system, the induction of nature of the state's understanding of the concept of the system was revealed. As part of the process, there has been a gradual transition from the concepts of fascism, particular forms of extremism, terrorism, to the normative concept of extremism, and further to the, the more general concept of radicalism. According to the results, um, uh, the study and participation of this discourse, uh, extremism of various social structures, the hierarchy uh, and structure of subjects for the production of promotion of the discourse on extremism was presented. The positions of agents of the legal field, bureaucratic field, and scientific field were identified and determined. The study was also identified the main mechanisms of state influence on the development of extremism discourse. Among them, it is worth noting the induction of uh, 
of discussion through the bureaucratic and legal, legal agents, the creation of a legal precedent, the legitimatization of legal neologism, neologism uh, by facts of the social environment through law enforcement structures and court decisions, the investment of symbolic capital of scientific discussion, the projection of strong solidarity discourse on the public sphere through media communication. Based on the results of studying the structure of subjects involved in the extremism discourse, as well as the identified uh, mechanism of state control over the development of the targeted discussion, the main principles were formal formulated that ensure the dominance of state attitudes in the public sphere on the issue of extremism. So the principle of delegation of responsibility between agents is based on a system of guarantees provided by various agents of social structures. Finally, the principle of universal interest in, of the involved subjects of discourse gives rise to the depersonalification, depersonification of the political attitudes of the discourse on extremism. The results, and the, the influence of the state on the, on the, in the discourse on extremism determines its key conventional substantive characteristics. The concept of extremism is, is a universal symbolic alibi <coughs> and the practical means of achieving, maintaining, or expanding state security and reproduction of power. The toxic nature of the substantive foundations of the discourse on extremism is ensured by the support of strong solidarity and the effect of the imaginary autonomy of social structures. The dynamics of the development of this discourse on extremism demonstrate a meaningful transition from the level of action negative to, in, in relation to power uh, to the level of thought negative to the relation of power. Thank you very much. Now uh, the next uh, item is on the agenda is questions to the defendant, dear colleagues, um, to, sh to uh, speed up our procedure. I will be leading the process. Um, and uh, do you have any questions at this point? Andre Victorovich, do you have any questions? No? Uh, yes, please. Uh, I have. Uh, I have three questions. Uh, do you want me to, uh, to ask you all three all together? Or all? Yes, I'm going to take notes. Thank you very much. Uh, number one, you used, uh, you said that you formulated the conventional uh, definition of a treason. And then you say, determine that you uh, developed an alternative uh, treatment of concept of uh, e extremism. Uh, so. Have you developed a, a conventional or an, an alternative a treatment uh, approach to experiment or definition to experiment? The second, you said about the toxicity. What do you mean by the toxic uh, character of the um, of uh, the um, nature of the substance foundation of the discuss? The th number three. You cited uh, three papers uh, that uh, that uh, cover liberal extremism. What uh, is liberal extremism to you and uh, your attitude? Do you have? Uh, a d is there a conservative extremism as well? And uh, the last question, f uh, the the hardest for me. You said in the dissertation for for the wider public in Russia, not for marginal agents. The, the, there's, there are some, rem, uh, some um, signs of nas nationalistic e extremism. Well, this is a very publicistic um, a statement, um, uh, not usually part of the academic discourse. Um, could you elaborate on that? I put down all the all the four questions uh, that you asked. Um, well, the last question, uh, the first uh, one, uh, I would differentiate a conventional uh, definition of extremism. 
that is uh, formulated on the basis of uh, work. In chapter one, when I used eternalist uh, approach, uh, I tried to systematize uh, uh, of diff different positions uh, and uh, in the academic discourse on extremism. As a result, uh, the, the some systemic uh, features were identified, and therefore I uh, had the courage to uh, formulate uh, the conventionalist uh, a definition um, that is prevalent uh, in the academic discourse uh, uh, and also in the legal di context. As far as the alternative um, approach uh, to organizing uh, research, uh, this is um, this uh, has nothing to do with uh, the conventional uh, definition of extremism. This is a uh, some uh, kind of approach, and I think it's an achievement of my work. I uh, approached uh, the, an analysis of extremism from a different perspective. Usually in the literature, people talk about extremist uh, discourses, uh, but I uh, look at it um, as a, as a concrete combination of discursive practices uh, uh, in the media uh, 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 that relate to extremism, extremism. and uh, so what meanings uh, the concept acquires in these different discourses and what the different authors uh, mean. So conventional definition, so the concept of conventional definition is one concept that I formulated, but the, an alternative approach that I developed um, is, uh, is a paradigm uh, of looking at the phenomenon, and this, uh, these two things cannot be combined. As far as the second question, the toxic uh, character, uh, which I defined in the discourses uh, in the Russian uh, discourse on extremism, I um, understand uh, as, as a box uh, where there's um, a space that uh, is never questioned, that uh, that's, uh, shows uh, in itself, a uh, 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 thing in itself, uh, and as a result, uh, of my distation, that the systemic character uh, features that uh, are assigned to extremism are toxic, and uh, and they're determined by the state. The, the third question, as far as the uh, liberal extremism and why I dedicate so much time to this particular uh, phenomenon. The, the the very interesting position, a uh, very interesting position there. Uh, articulated uh, by uh, the, the the position with uh, the advent of liberal paradigm, many uh, political paradigms um, have become marginal uh, or uh, uh, radical. Or, or um, they are they are now not viewed as possible alternatives uh, in the political um, uh, framework, and uh, liberal extremism at this point uh, in Russia uh, is uh, treated by different uh, scholars based on uh, tra tra traditional. Um, uh, traditionalist uh, views uh, about the unique uh, mission of Russia, way of Russia, and uh, in these um, studies, um, that this liberal uh, paradigm is uh, uh, is viewed in this uh, in these studies as as um, as a threat to the third way of Russia. Uh, of uh, its own way, 
uh, not western, not eastern, but and um, uh, and um, so and uh, as far as the um, conservative uh, extremism is has uh, lost its ground um, uh, so much. Uh, as far as the thesis that uh, you point out uh, in the dissertation that uh, that uh, the right um, ideology right wing ideology is uh, in demand for uh, by many people i insist uh, that uh, on this and i will i will uh, also uh, mentioned that in my um, extended um, answers uh, that the main principle and the main approach that I used uh, in chapter one uh, it, can you hear me yes somebody said something I mean uh, here primarily um, that uh, I discuss uh, different positions that are in the academic space. As a rule, there are cit uh, there are, uh, citations of uh, different research um, studies, um, and uh, this is one of the positions that uh, are not the adhering to or are not uh, putting forward as true or dominant because uh, this is not um, uh, in uh, part of my research uh, uh, question. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Van Valerich. Uh, do you have uh, any other additional questions, uh, Andrei Viktorovich? Well, I have some additional questions, but uh, I will not ask them, save them for it. And uh, any uh, any questions uh, for the defense? I have two questions. I would like uh, would like uh, the uh, answers be compact. Uh, y you mentioned uh, the effect of uh, of. Uh, uh, pseudo autonomy of social structures. How do you treat this construct uh, empirically that uh, this exists um, in life? And the um, the methods of uh, of working with texts. Uh, uh, how did you do it methodologically? the the category of this uh, deciphering um thank you very much uh, Nitri Petrovich uh, I will put down your last question or critical uh, statement coming back to the notion to uh, pseudo uh, autonomy and how I uh, empirically show this um, and pseudo autonomy is meant uh, that uh, a agents or subjects of different uh, social structures that I look at, um, for example, in the academic uh, uh, degree for uh, the, uh, space, for example that uh, these subjects in their in interest in the, the, the vector of the, of studying problems uh, suffer the um, uh, the dominance of the state that directed this research in a particular direction and the, when this uh, discussion uh, 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 replicated the, the dogmas uh, coming from the state. Uh, this uh, 
well, the formal status of uh, independent uh, academic discussion, uh, the symbolic effect uh, of independence is of academic field is uh, the strongest. But uh, uh, unfortunately, this is not um, the case if you look at it closely. And the same can be applied to extremism. As far as the empirical uh, substantiation of what happened to extremism, as part of the my research, I looked at the in chapter two. I demonstrate that in numbers, most uh, works uh, on extremism. And prevailing, prevailingly, have to do with uh, law enforcement or institutions that are affiliated with, for example, the um, investigative committee or the uh, other investigative um, departments, uh, and therefore they are under the dominance of uh, political institutions. But of course, they do. Uh, they produce uh, a research, and then uh, they publish, and then uh, they're cited, and um, they become significant in this space. And uh, I looked at it, and uh, most works uh, that have to do with uh, uh, with this um, uh, research questions uh, have a connection to uh, law enforcement. Uh, institutions, uh, and uh, especially in the legal science, and uh, the legal scientists uh, uh, follow closely uh, the, in the changes in legislation, and they are actually um, captives of uh, this situation, and they were called on to legitimize uh, uh, some of these uh, uh, decisions of uh, of the state, and um, th the last question that you asked, uh, what is how the de decipher how the deciphering of uh, legal acts um, takes place? Um, uh, chapter one and chapter two, I I treat this issue. I use the methodology of construct constructivist structuralism of uh, Pierre Bourdieu. I use uh, some concepts uh, re uh, of uh, properties of the state that uh, that are projected on the normative text that I analyze. Well, I interpret uh, these texts um, uh, according to these mo models and uh, showed empirically how this happens. As, and, um, and in chapter two, I mostly focus on the legal discourse, of course. So this is how I organize my work. Mr. Petrovich, do you, do you have uh, any other questions, follow-up questions? Unfortunately, we cannot hear you. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes, we can. I will not ask any more questions. I would like to argue, but uh, not everything is in its place, but uh, but later. Let's leave it for later. Uh, Maya, um, can you hear me? Can you? Uh, do you want to ask questions of the de defendant? Thank you very much. Ivan Valerievich, I would like to ask you two questions. First one is about, I would like to, uh, the categorical, categoric uh, meaning of the concept of influence. 
maybe sociological or uh, political science or political administration. Uh, uh, what uh, perspectives do you use? It's not clear in the work. And I would like to clarify about uh, religious re extremism discourse. Um, the, what can you say about that? Um, we, when you answered, um, uh, when you answered the uh, fundamentalist um, uh, discourse, um, extremism discourse, uh, and uh, maybe pseudo uh, religious discourse. Um, there's also this terminology as well. Ivan Larevich. Jeremiah uh, Tashestovna, uh, uh, please. Uh, uh, yes, thank you very much for your questions. I have uh, put them down. As far as the uh, concept of influence and uh, what I mean by it in the context of the work. And of course, we talk about the discursive meaning and the discursive space and not. Um, I did define the concept of influence is how strongly structurally and politically social uh, the principles um, are reflected in the outcome discourse uh, that I analyze if these systemic uh, characteristics uh, are pronounced in the discourse uh, if if they are structurally um, uh, observed i uh, defined it as uh, significant or or um, a, 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 and this is uh, how i structurally embed uh, this category of influence. As far as the religious extremism, I don't um, tackle uh, ec religious extremism directly um, in my work. I uh, uh, talked about it uh, uh, when I uh, did a survey of, uh, of the literature. And uh, when I talked about the diffusive character of uh, this extremism, uh, so I wouldn't uh, be able to answer your question. Um, and uh, therefore, because I haven't done anything on it, I just worked uh, uh, on the general um, space of the discourse. Um, so um, when I worked with my material, <coughs> uh, religious extremism uh, did uh, uh, show up uh, and it's one of the key uh, types of extremism. And I looked at it um, uh, bef before I started working my dissertation and within there are some, uh, there are some uh, but so the state uh, has um, has different takes on different types of extremism, of um, fascism and Islamic extremism and uh, other forms, um, and this uh, research area is uh, vibrant and uh, especially with with uh, the fights on terrorism, war on terrorism, especially Islamic terrorism. Thank you very much. Any other questions? No questions. I would, li I would like uh, the defendant to be cautious with, uh, with the, ch uh, the term church the Chechen wars. Uh, there are official names for these uh, events. Uh, uh, Gary Pollock, do you have any questions uh, to the defendant at this point? Yes. Yes, may I ask nah. one question? 
Ja zada... Um, uh, I'd like to ask Ivan Valerovic about uh, non-state actors and the influence that they have on definitions of extremism. Um, for example, church, NGOs, and universities as well. Um, and the extent to which these influences can sometimes operate along with certain state actors. So it seems to me that there may be some complexity there in the ways in which we understand um, maybe hegemonic practices in the definitions of extremism. Yeah. Dear Geller Pollock, thank you very much for your quick questions. Um, your question uh, is a, a problem area in my work, problematic area in my work, because the number of agents and the volume of such agents, the size agents that participate in extremism discourse, are, are not exhaustive. Well, you talk about the, the Institute of Church, it's a very uh, significant factor. You said about uh, something about the universities, and uh, as part of my work uh, in this part uh, of the, I identify this problem, and I talk when I talk about uh, how the academic discourse is built under the influence of these factors and um, that we have some markers uh, th that are uh, that are originate uh, originate um, a outside the state and there are some uh, oppositional discourse in terms of extremism uh, that is succeed and uh, the definition of extremism of this uh, and in the academic discourse is uh, existent is exists in my work as far as the NGOs um, in my in in chapter one and chapter two I um, I use secondary research sources of uh, uh, human rights watchdogs um, for example uh, so uh, uh, team 29 uh, well, who criticize um, a lot of these uh, uh, approaches, and they balance off uh, um, this this influence of the state, and this is a contribution of the civil society. But um, but the balance, uh, unfortunately, is not reached. The institutions of uh, of the state and the state itself uh, prevail in this uh, uh, milieu. Do you have any other subsequent questions? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, as a chairman, I. I have no questions, um, and then we can continue with the reviews, including external reviews. The, uh, one review came from the, de the Department of Political Science and um, Region stu uh, Area Studies from Volgograd State University. It's an external review, and there's another one from Professor of Sociology of Youth, uh, Dean of the Faculty of, so Faculty of Sociology of Saran State University, Sergei Ivchenkov. The, exter the external reviews have been published on the website to, to be accessed by anyone. I understand that the Th that uh, the Distinction Council members have received uh, these these reviews as well. And therefore, I would like to read only questions and critical 
critical statements, um, and both reviewers um, uh, are in favor of granting this the sort degree to the defendant. So, can I just read out uh, the critical parts? Do you have any uh, objections? No objections. And then, with your permission, I will read on the uh, with the reviews on partially, only partially. And the, the review by Morozov uh, Sergei Ivanovich, uh, and the dissertation uh, uh, covers a very uh, relevant uh, issue and is an original research work. As far as the um, uh, critical point, the first one is this: the f in uh, in item one, the academic relevance, and the formulation of conventional definition, and the key uh, elements of uh, the convergence. Uh, this this didn't find. Um, is uh, fullest treatment in the text of the dissertation. And the supplement um, uh, uh, is, uh, is not uh, up to uh, the standard, but um, uh, these are minor points, uh, points and um, uh, the defendant uh, isn't is uh, entitled to be awarded a candidate of, sci of sociological sciences degree. And the uh, review now by um, Sergei Grigorievich Ivchenkov. The, the work covers a very relevant topic. The methodology uh, allows uh, the treatment of extremism to be effective, and the results uh, are based on robust uh, theoretical and methodological approaches. Chapter one, uh, the author presents characteristic and interpretation of extremism, and chapter two, uh, the author presents uh, the results of uh, of uh, the influence of uh, uh, significant agents on extremism discourse. Uh, by, uh, the, well, the, the drawback is the the second chapter and the name of the uh, the total paper. Uh, the second chapter entitled uh, the, the name of the to uh, total paper are the same and uh, but we have to note that uh, the results um, are valid and uh, the dissertation conforms to the requirements of the guidelines on awarding uh, a candidate of sciences degree in St. Petersburg University. Dear colleagues, now we have the the opportunity to read out um, your reviews. Um, please uh, be uh, be brief as as much as possible, and I would like to do it in the same order. Andrei Viktorovich, uh, your your uh, review, please. Thank you. I will not dwell on the um, positive sides. There's relevance, uh, the academic originality, and theoretical significance, practical significance. I will just jump to the drawbacks. Uh, uh, I uh, my first um, criticism is. Uh, about the language uh, that uh, is used in the lexical constructions, uh, they they actually make this the meaning of the senses uh, very obscure. I was uh, I felt uh, like Moliere 
um, uh, well, the character of Moliere uh, that I just started uh, uh, studying philosophy because uh, for 40 years I never uh, knew that. Um, uh, and uh, well, uh, unfortunately, uh, chapter one is uh, very. Ivan Valerievich um, says uh, that uh, uh, papers uh, were published and and actually and that uh, are based on some uh, uh, some uh, research uh, research uh, that uh, were published by the uh, m members of the law enforcement. Uh, well, I cannot. Um, uh, some some inferences are just hard to grasp. Uh, well, there are some there are some concepts that are not com conceptualized uh, in chapter. What is meaning convergence? Uh, what is permanent uh, discursive formation? Uh, all these. Uh, this uh, blur, blur uh, beeps on this radar screen uh, uh, are not uh, even justified, uh, let alone uh, uh, clear. First of all, the, uh, the, uh, the definition of extremism and radicalism. I will not talk about extremism, but how he defines um, uh, radicalism. Well, of course, uh, it comes from Latin. Uh, radical changes uh, are not necessarily just uh, being uprooted. Well, they can be, they can go to the roots. So the definition that you present excludes. Um, he excludes some notions that are prevalent in the legal science um, and the integral uh, drawback uh, in, especially in the first chapter about liberal extremism uh, some citations are not uh, well, some you know he refers to different uh, uh, works, uh, and he just describes uh, liberal extremism, but he never voices uh, uh, his own uh, attitude to this uh, notion. What can I say for or against this uh, uh, v uh, concept? Uh, and uh, what I really irked about this. Uh, a uh, criminogenic uh, competent ideology. Is this uh, your position or the one uh, or the position of the um, the person who whom you um, uh, cite? Well, this is uh, quite uh, prehistoric, and uh, and that some uh, some statements are are uh, not well argued. The roots. The roots of extremism uh, are the absence are uh, come from the absence of the state ideology, of a state ideology. So, so what is state ideology? Is it uh, something that uh, is formulated by the state, or is in the jurisdiction of the state, or what kind of state ideology are we talking about? Uh, Well, the the last uh, I liked your analysis uh, of um, Russian discourse on the basis of e-library uh, sources, etc. But uh, but maybe uh, uh, well, it could the research could uh, uh, win if you could uh, add to it. Uh, uh, the research based on the Web of Science and Scopus databases, and uh, because uh, there are lots of sources there on extremism and radicalism, 
And uh, I just wanted to point out that uh, my overall positive attitude to work uh, uh, remains, and um, the work conforms uh, to the requirements of St. Petersburg University, uh, and the author is entitled uh, to uh, the sort degree of kind of sociological sciences. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, the the defendant has the opportunity to answer now or later. Well, later. Okay. After all the reviews. So, Dmitry Petrovich, your, your turn is next. I will use the advice uh, that uh, were, was given by the chairman. I will just um, uh, just uh, give you a bullet-pointed uh, presentation of my review. What is obvious uh, is the relevance um, and the qualification uh, in terms of uh, literature reviewer. As a re literature reviewer. And they're all high, but uh, as far as the uh, general hypothesis, the the on chapter eleven, it's very trivial, and it doesn't need any proof uh, that the the uh, combination of uh, different different terms that are found in different codes uh, are di discursive and of course uh, you, you don't need to uh, by a definition and uh, you don't need to prove that and uh, this is related to for example treason uh, so and then the uh, Relevant, uh, the, the particular hypothesis uh, look better. I, I, and in my review, I anal analytically reviewed the the work. Uh, the the originality of the work uh, uh, is reflected in five statements uh, that are that are argued. Yes, they they do. Uh, they do um, meet uh, the requirements of originality, and uh, the successful attempt uh, attempt to uh, develop uh, a methodology that is possibly possibly lacking, and uh, in the describing uh, and also the pres the. Uh, over your the empirical research, uh, big data, but um, as far now, uh, as far as the empirical study, uh, the uh, the author says the fundamental the. The, well, the uh, the definition is uh, what is uh, the d uh, the uh, state logic? What is what way is this uh, uh, logic uh, described in detail, and and what is a dominating influence? How is it different from? Uh, uh, different types of influence, uh, and if you demonstrate uh, an, uh, something, uh, that does mean that you dominate uh, an influence, and uh, and the author uh, writes also that. Um, the context of uh, so the the what's the, the how how does uh, 
what is the empirical base? Uh, what is the methodological uh, approach? Uh, how, why why uh, is this empirical material representative? And uh, with the main what? So uh, the uh, well, the formulation um, uh, that uh, it seems uh, to be correct uh, is also uh, an academic, and I have uh, what instruments uh, uh, are used. Uh, I cannot see. What, and uh, it's difficult to uh, uh, to produce diffraction. What is what is diffraction? And I uh, where are the empirical indicators? Uh, on the so empirical cr uh, criteria are not there either. And and uh, the legal the legal field uh, it looks better. But but uh, the methodology used uh, is uh, of an uh, intuitive uh, nature rather than a, a robust uh, academic nature. It's well, I I quote. It's important to look at it. It's important to uh, note. It's important to understand. So discursive analysis uh, is not uh, written in such terms. It, it, the author should uh, so should use a methodological a methodological procedural approach rather than just methodological approach in the describing imperial data. Uh, but the work. Uh, the the uh, again the body of legal literature um, the normative literature uh, that comes from the uh, uh, from the state um, is very uh, restricted uh, uh, only uh, only laws uh, are actually uh, included but what about decrees what about uh, other legal documents and uh, the author uh, the author doesn't uh, take into account uh, uh, social network discussions uh, and other meaningful uh, effects, aspects of uh, of the discursive field and the the use of the term field is problematic as well Uh, it's based on Bourdieu. Uh, the, that uh, talks about the agentive uh, properties. Uh, the, uh, well, but um, the author um, actually conflates, uh, well, uh, identifies, um, makes the field and uh, the combination of its agents um, are identical phenomena. The, the r the law enforcement the law enforcement uh, the the same uh, is uh, the the the, the field is uh, then tackled uh, later but. Um, and then the terminological incorrect uh, are definitions of the agents uh, within the, these fields. Uh, so, in terms of terminology, from I would like I would like the author to stay within the sociological field and the terminology of the sociological field, and um, uh, 
well, unfortunately, unfortunately, so there were several drawbacks that are of conceptual nature. But nevertheless, um, I can state that um, on the whole, uh, the uh, the dissertation co uh, meets the requirements of St. Petersburg University on granting uh, degrees of uh, candidate of sociolog sociological sciences uh, in uh, political sociology. Thank you. Dmit uh, thank you, Dmitry Petrovich. And and uh, please now, my uh, your turn, dear uh, chairman. I would like uh, first thank to thank you for inviting me uh, to this forum, and I am on behalf of the uh, of my institution myself. Uh, I wish you good health and prosperity as far as the um, work is concerned. I was interested in uh, was interested in the text uh, because um, the the but the style of uh, narration is lacking, but uh, but unfortunately. Unfortunately, well, unfortunately, this is the style of Ivan Valerich in general, and uh, you, we can see it uh, uh, even now uh, in our communication. Uh, and um, the academics of Northern Caucasus uh, uh, are very are uh, very um, concerned with uh, extremism, of course, discourse. And um, dear author, uh, well, the author has done a lot of work uh, on uh, the methodology, and the theoretical uh, sources. Uh, and uh, I would like to highlight that uh, that uh, the the methodologically this work is a bit uh, strange, but it doesn't uh, diminish the value of uh, what's presented. I would like to emphasize that uh, the uh, the uh, a determination of the inf of the institute of the institutes of state on the formation of this discourse. And uh, I'd like to, I think that um, this treatment is quite original because the problem of political discourse and public discourse is very pressing uh, at the moment. And uh, Ivan Varej uh, actually, when writing his di dis dissertation, uh, actually pre preempted uh, the discourse that we are witnessing at the moment, and um, and um, well, the s theoretical significance is there. And uh, they can be, uh, you know, the results can be used both by the public at large or uh, the state. Um, and uh, I think that uh, this is uh, this justifies to the practical importance of the work. I will not uh, talk about uh, the analysis in detail because I adhere to some academic traditions. And, um, but um, uh, some drawbacks uh, concern in part with uh, not conceptual uh, issues, but uh, 
with the categorical level, the categorical level. First one, you you make attempts to correlate extremi extremism as an institution and discourse uh, as ideological program. This is a very hard task, and um, the statement that 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 uh, the, the extremist discourse uh, influenced the discourse of materialism. Uh, Uh, that uh, links uh, the extremist discourse to terrorism. I think that the current uh, political uh, and civil organization of the Russian Federation and uh, I, I, I uh, that are uh, you know violating some democratic norms, and I, I would like you to elaborate on that. I, um, I, my next um, problem is the uh, what I've heard, the agents of, uh, of uh, influence uh, include is the producers and the translators the the legal field the bureaucratic field the uh, academic field well i i'm not sure that uh, how 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 you can uh, objectify these fields as uh, as agents of influence uh, that, that produce uh, some kind of influence well they uh, they uh, what you heard before as well the uh, the, the, the the title of the chapter of chapter two and the the title of the dissertation are identical and this is uh, very uh, major and um, I I miss some empiricism in this dissertation well when there are so many agents. Uh, Yes, this is important that these agents are classified, and uh, but there are also opinions of uh, individuals, of citizens, uh, and uh, where are they? And well, because uh, we have polls, we have focus groups, uh, we have surveys uh, that uh, that cover extremism. Uh, issues uh, and uh, I wish that the author could uh, follow his uh, uh, follow up on his research in this direction but my overall impression of the work uh, is positive and um, so I would like to to state that um, the the gestation conforms to the the requirements of uh, St. Petersburg University uh, uh, for the granting of degrees in uh, political and sociological sciences. I agree with the, this, the positive resolution. Thank you very much. Uh, the next, uh, Gary Pollack. Gary, your turn uh, to uh, read out or to voice your review. Thank you, uh, thank you very much, Chair. And um, it, let me just first of all say it's a pleasure to be invited to be part of this uh, council. 
Um, it's an honor. Um, uh, I'd far rather be in St. Petersburg for it, but uh, doing it remotely like this will, uh, it, it's going very well. The technology is working very well. Um, let me also thank my translator, who's doing a fantastic job. Um, it's hard work, I know, simultaneous translation, and especially for this length of time without a break. So thank you very much. Um, I enjoyed reading uh, Ivan's thesis very much. I think the uh, scholarship within the thesis it goes without question. Um, and I should like now to turn to the um, the evaluation that I made. And I, uh, indulge me, please, if I read out my comments. Uh, the theoretical framework is very much influenced by a range of mainly French theorists who represent quite different schools. It was not clear initially which of these were of major importance, uh, though it soon became apparent that Bourdieu was the prime theoretical influence. This, I felt, ought to have been more explicitly acknowledged and defended. Why, for example, was Bourdieu uh, more important for this thesis than, say, Althusser? Althusser is mentioned, but doesn't figure very strongly. Um, and yet his ideological state apparatus paper is cited. The relevance of Baudrillard was not clear to me uh, at all. Uh, while I could see that Foucault is important in relation to the discourse analysis approach taken. I was interested in the lack of engagement with uh, the UK theorist, Anthony Giddens, who's written quite substantially about political ideology, um, as well as the agency structure theory that is important in understanding the tension between governing institutions and the governed. The argument uh, focusing on the definition of extremism contrasted with radicalism is quite a historical section about Bentham and philosophical radicals aligned with utilitarianism. Noting that this is not ideological in terms of a left-right spectrum, this section is quite central to the thesis in my view, as the relativism of consequentialist philosophy is at the heart of a shifting notion of extremism, as can be articulated as well as manipulated by institutions and not just by the state. This is important and should be broadened out further to encompass notions of populism. And, the, and this also needs to be differentiated from extremism. The work of Ernesto Laclau and Chantal Mouffe would be particularly important in fleshing out this chapter. There is little written about political theory and ideology in chapter one. I would have anticipated a discussion about a range of contrasting ideologies and the ways in which each can be thought of as having centrist elements as well as extremist ones. I believe that in focusing on discourse, discourses, that the ideologies of the discourses is to some extent glossed over. Political violence is a topic that uh, needs to be captured in this discourse as well. I don't think that uh, terrorism was mentioned uh, substantially within the thesis. Phenomena such as the Irish Republican Army in Ireland uh, and the UK, the ANC, the African National Confer Congress in South Africa, as well as ETA in the Basque country, uh, are examples of organizations which uh, engage in what was described as extremist actions and aligned to specific political manifestos, all of which became neutralized. And two of these organizations became effectively legally governing. For me, the second chapter of this thesis is its real strength. This is an intense analysis of Russian institutional perspectives, positions, regulations, and laws in regard to political extremism. This is evidence of uh, thorough and intense scholarship, attention to detail, and original arguments which demonstrate a contribution to knowledge which is generally regarded as the main test for an award of a PhD. I'm satisfied that the material presented in this section meet these tests. The use of Bourdieu, Baudrillard and Habermas 
and a focus on practical politics and legitimacy are appropriate. Within the Russian context, these arguments are both important and interesting. And while I would be looking for important contrasts with other legal contexts outside Russia, this is clearly beyond the bounds of this thesis. So in conclusion, I feel that there is sufficient scholarship in this thesis to warrant the award of PhD. Uh, there are a number of areas that are to some extent weak and a number of gaps, but in recognition that a PhD is at the start of an academic career rather than its zenith, these deficiencies can be put to one side. That's it. Uh, the work of Ivan Varej is a detailed research of uh, the, um, the author successfully uh, uh, def defends uh, theoretical um, statements um, and uh, the dissertation uh, has uh, a lot of original uh, findings um, and empirical uh, analyses uh, as far as the uh, originality again I will uh, note uh, some uh, practical importance and I will I uh, the, uh, the third uh, the, uh, the, uh, the genesis of the discourse of extremism in Russia <clears throat> includes its periodization and uh, it is and the recessive period is defined uh, as a symbolic revolution in the discourse of extremism uh, between 2002 and 2016 and the uh, the specificity of the russian discourse on extremism extremism uh, it, uh, it is uh, defined uh, and in in um, contrast to uh, the uh, western discourse oriented um, on normativity of liberal values and uh, the uh, the, the contribution to the discourse uh, development uh, of social structures uh, as agents of the state, bureaucracy, the, the courts, uh, law enforcement, and other and um, state educational institutions and the media are, are defined. The, The theoretical uh, approach of the author, based on the constructivism, constructivist uh, structuralism of Bourdieu, and the post-structuralist conceptions of Foucault and Bourdieu, are absolutely relevant to the issue at hand. And now I'd like to uh, to. The, uh, but um, also I would like to mention some uh, drawbacks. The first of all, uh, the um, preoccupation with Dieu, Foucault and Bourdieu uh, and uh, of the stylistics of the styles of uh, these uh, authors um, and the tropes, the figures of speech uh, uh, lead to the um, creation of such expressions uh, in the that are not part of the academic style, that too metaphorical and tautological and even magical discourse. The second is the, um, 
the determinants uh, leading to the uh, the ex emergence of extremism. This is uh, a strange uh, expression, uh, and this means that uh, it um, disregards the classical model of deviant devi uh, devi devi uh, behavior of of Merton by Merton, uh, whose idea uh, in st uh, about the structural of uh, discordance of the goals and means um, uh, explicitly and implicitly contained uh, practically all the uh, all the explanations uh, that are discussed in uh, the dissertation and the th and the third one the diffusive zone or diffusion z form of the uh, right le uh, wing and the left wing radicalism in Russia in discussion in discussing this the author says that uh, that such a, such an uh, unification has never uh, taken place uh, which is a factual di uh, factual uh, mistake uh, there's the national bolshevik party of edward limonov and the, uh, it actually combines uh, the discursive and non-discursive practices that are part of the discourse on this extremism between in the period between 1990 and 2000 uh, and um, and the fourth one is that the structural corruption is very vague as well but nevertheless the dissertation on the whole conforms to the requirements of the of the um, St. Peter's of the University of St. Petersburg, dear colleagues, we have finished uh, this part, and now I would like to give the floor to the defendant to um, uh, to answer questions and critical points. Yes, please. Dear members of the Distation Council, dear Chairman, thank you very much th for the thoughtful uh, time that you spent on on uh, uh, studying my. I would I would like to thank the external reviewers um, as well. All all their review all their comments. Uh, a part of the uh, a part of the reviews that we just heard uh, from the members of this session, I will incorporate them into my answers. Um, so, I would like to start with uh, the comments uh, uh, in the order that we organized. The first one by. Uh, Lenikov, um, his comments. Um, the first one is um, this is about the the language that was used um, in the paper. Well, indeed, the enthusiasm for the instrumental use of the theories of Jean Baudrillard and Michel Foucault and uh, Pierre Bourdieu, Bourdieu uh, influenced the. Uh, the style of um, this discourse, uh, such a chosen discourse, uh, was intended to provide a, an end-to-end -end modality of the text, within which the creative heritage of these authors is uh, consolidated with the author's analysis of the target issues, not only theoretically but also symbolically. Uh, but uh, I, I agree that uh, such uh, an approach was not uh, n was not necessary. And um, that I would re agree that um, with that um, this would not this did not contribute to the coherence of the text. Uh, I was a ling I am a linguist uh, and by my first uh, uh, degree, and therefore uh, uh, maybe the sociological paradigm is lacking in my language. Uh, I also 
as practical results. Uh, the manual, the methodological manual, extremists and directors from concepts to understanding. Um, I could bring this um, uh, manual, but uh, it was published in 2016. It was adapted to the target audience uh, and was republished in a modified version. And I will uh, certainly be happy uh, to uh, share uh, the book with you. Thank you very much for this um, comment. I will not, um, I agree with uh, this. As far as the, some, some semantic concepts used in the text of the decision were not adequately adapted to the general pragmatics of academic art architectonics. And um, uh, the ratio uh, the ratio of the general decision with the title of the second tab, subject chapter of the work is indeed illogical in terms of relating to the general in particular. As far as the definition of extremism indicated by respected expert may indeed be objectively insufficient to determine the whole variety of meanings attributed of extremism. However, the formulated definition reflects the most conventional characteristics of the identification of extremism existing in, this, uh, in the academic and legal discourse. In the first chapter to which the dissertation thesis, or, uh, uh, in which the, 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 the dissertation thesis was criticized, an internalist approach was taken to organize the analysis of the study discourse and based on the results of the summarizing of the most characteristic formal research and normative positions on the nature of extremism, a target definition was proposed. In regard to the, in, in this regard, the inclusion of the semantic field of the presented definition of the phenomenon of the state, of state extremism is also explained. The proposed definition of radicalism is also due to the application of an internalist approach to organizing the analysis of discourse and represents a unification of the most conventional features of research and normative positions on the issues. Um, as at the same time, the present definition does not at all exclude the significance of the subject of radicalism toward the roots towards the roots, since the imperative of the radical idea can freely move along the conservatism avant-garde scale. Uh, the point is demonstrated in sufficient detail in the analysis of the first chapter. The second, the next, uh, uh, the, the comment about the weak articulation of one's own author's position, one's own position of the author on a number of problems In this case, uh, I would say that um, the author's attention was focused on the text as a, a sufficient and autonomous source of understanding the system of extremism meanings. In this context, the research role was to generalize and systematize the materials studied in order to reasonably derive from them the most characteristic features of the originality of the domestic discourse on extremism. The consideration distinguished, among others, of such a form of extremism as a liberal extremism reflects the current the diversity in the approaches of the domestic scientific school to the classification of extremism and constitutes an important prerequisite to one of the conclusions of the first chapter, in which the diffu diffuse um, the multiplicity of dy and, and dynamism on the forms of extremism is defined as one of characteristic features of the modern discourse on extremism, both in the, in the academic and regulatory aspects. And the thesis, the next one is the author's attitude to the study of metrics of discursive participation within the framework of domestic aggregators of scientific works 
is explained by the peculiarity of the object of research. The Russian discourse of anti-extremism, as a reason, as a rule, a rule, foreign information sources were not used unless they explicitly acted as poles of influence on the originality of positions of identification of extremism by domestic participants in the discourse on extremism. extremism. The next uh, review is uh, by Dmitry Petrovich Gavra. There are very many uh, criticisms, and uh, um, most of them I just accept. Um, and I agree with, as far as the state logic, the concept presented in the remark, the remark, it does really does not really reveal a direct definition within the text of a dissertation and may cause legitimate questions. Yes, um, but in this case, this expression is allowed only as a shorter form of the notation formulated in the introduction of the research objective, determination of mechanisms, attitudes, and effects of state influence on the construction and promotion of the concept of extremism in a system of specific meanings and connotations. To achieve the stated goal of the study, a set of discursive and non-discursive practices combined with the problematization of extremism was used as empirical reference. First of all, these are texts of a legal, regulatory, and bureaucratic nature, as well as of various kinds of quantitative indicators of reveal faces of an extremist nature and core decisions on about them. The results of achieving this research goal are the conceptualization of the structure and hierarchy of subjects involved in the production and promotion of the discourse on extremism the identification of mechanisms and principles of state influence on the discourse on this extremism. And uh, so as far as the overwhelming influence, uh, it refers to such participation in the discourse of, of extremism, on extremism that dominates the pace of development, the nature of vector of the system of values attributed to the extreme extremism and also reproduces the qualities of its producers in them. In the framework of paragraph 2.1, the author sets out the sequence of research activities carried out in the framework of the session of work with empirical motives. Yes, as an empirical base, the formation of the target's discourse is indicated, a set of existing and possible statements united by a similar problematization of uh, of extremism. The introduction provides a definition on the of the specific components of the empirical basis of, study, of the study, which includes textual con materials of the norm of a normative, normative legal documents, programs, strategies, scientific articles, monographs, dissertations, texts, uh, journalistic uh, reports, uh, reports uh, human rights, etc. Uh, and also statistics of the largest information aggregator, Google, Google uh, and Yandex indicators, integrators. And um, it is worth agreeing with the remark of respected exp expert the, uh, that the paragraph under question does not provide adequate justification of the representatives of the materials used in the study. Partially, this deficit is consistently filled in the preambles to each of the subsequent, subsequent elements of the analysis, where the significance of the materials used is substantiated. As far as the, the criteria and indicators on the basis of which the uniqueness of the state's participation and influence is in the key qualities of the discursive formation and the study is determined, uh, are ready-made concepts uh, of, the sys of the systemic parameters of the state, borrowed from the course of the lectures by Baudier on the state. As part of the study of legal field tests, the toolkit for the preparation of discussion material is used. 
Markets and indicators that apply uh, to the tax space under study are determined by the provisions are formulated by Pierre Bourdieu on the systemic purposes of the state, which strived for the print reproduction and structuring in, the so in social practices, in this case, and the target discursive formation. As far as the... Um, as far as the... Um, the methodological and procedural section of the study that really needs a clearer and more concentrated expression, yes, I agree with this. As far as the uh, normative documents, the closest essential to such documents is determined by the, in th this particular document, is by the principle of precisely these materials in the text. Uh, in the context of assessing the objective forms and mechanism of state influence on the discourse of, on extremism. And this is, um, well, I, I analyzed Roskomnadzor, which is the uh, communications uh, regulator, the Minister of External Affairs, uh, the Investigative Prosecutor's Office, executive authorities, including regional authorities, as far as the um, the media, uh, the, it's close to your heart because uh, you are in media uh, school. The um, you noted that uh, there's a lack of analysis of the uh, media discourse of the influence of the media. So this this is addressed only in a fragmented way. And uh, yes, uh, the primary material is lacking, and therefore the a secondary analysis of studies on the uniqueness of rep representation of the problem in the media determinants, social consensus, uh, and need which should have been um, should have been carried out. As far as the objection regarding the correctness of language presented in the, uh, between the agent, agent and the field, um, the, there's been a mix-up. Yes, uh, well, I didn't mean to to be it to be this way, <clears throat> but um, fortunately, this uh, ambiguity uh, is part of the test. The next uh, review is by uh, um, my Atashasevna uh, Tsvatsaturova. You um, said, um, talked about uh, that you didn't understand that, um, that the is that uh, in the first chapter I did use an internalist approach and um, I cite uh, the positions of uh, of the researchers' positions and um, unfortunately I did not um, voice my opinion about this. I agree. But this uh, correlates with uh, Professor Garber's uh, point. Uh, I, uh, as far as the 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 um, the correlation between the par uh, the particular and the general, I uh, yes, there's a problem here. Uh, that's. Uh, that um, uh, the um, general topic of the discussion and uh, the title of the second chapter. Yes, that's right. I missed that. So sorry about that. I am going forward uh, now. Uh, Gary Pollux. Um, Thank you very much for your close uh, reading of my 
dissertation. The first one is the, the methodological uh, uh, approach. Yes, uh, there can be defects. Pierre Boudier, yes. Um, that is that the selected basis of the theoretical methodological approach to the realization of research is justified by the following considerations. To organize the form of modern Russian discussion of extremism, the idea of the discourse of Ms. Michel Foucault's theory is used. The this theoretical concept was chosen in the view of the greatest flexibility of this application in order for organizing the whole variety of discursive participation and various social structures of the issues of res this organization basically ensures relative freedom and the spectrum of the studied objects. Uh, you, using this approach, it was possible to reduce the entire differentiated structure of the material studied into a general concept of the deformation of the discourse. The totality of all existing and possible th utterances are united by similar problematization. Uh, the guiding basis of the study was the Bourdieu's, yes. Uh, 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 and um, in view of the logical attention paid to the study, the analysis of the discourse of the power, the structure of the state in the discourse, concepts and their meanings, the dynamics of the studied and the signified, as well as the socio-political effects generated by this process. The postmodern text analysis paradigm of just, uh, of uh, Baudrillard, Baudrillard was used as an additional analytical tool. Thus, the most appropriate and, uh, and well-known tones for the authors to achieve the goal of the study were chosen. Uh, however, the vectors of the more acceptable and complex theoretical and methodological grounds for the answer indicated in the response by respected experts reveal prospects for further development of the research topic, which will be used uh, by the author as part of the continuation of the study of the research area. Thank you very much. Dmitry uh, Vladislavich Ivanov. Um, Short uh, answers to your questions. You said about the language. I will not repeat. I completely agree with it. As far as the that there's a lacking model of Robert Merton. Yes, uh, I should have included it. Uh, Robert M Merton, uh, Merton um, did uh, influence the um, deviation of Russian um, uh, the, unique, uh, uh, the uniqueness uh, of uh, Merton's idea of the gap between the cultural goals of society and the social approved means of achieving them is quite fully represented in the Russian uh, academic discourse and which finds expression in these thesis um, in the thesis presented in the work. So one of the characteristic features of the Russian discourse and the and extremism is the consideration of extremism and the prism of deviant behavior. Uh, in addition, the idea of using an internalist approach to discourse analysis implemented as a methodological framework of the first chapter of the study was intended not to identify the most explanatory model of the origin of extremism, but to present a variety of positions of uh, Russian authors. As part, of the, as part of the consideration of classification of issues on extremism, the author summarizes uh, the positions of participants in this discursive uh, formation uh, on the formation of alliances between the right and the left radical segments. As far as the um, as far as the hypothesis, um, hypothetical character of uh, the structural corruption, the idea of law enforcement field is abusing its power and projecting a legal norm into the space of sociality. Uh, is put forward by the author only hypothetically and does not come up come out as a fact proved by the research procedures. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Ivan Valerovich, for your uh, answers to the questions of the, the station council members. Uh, do you have any questions? Um, ah, well, we haven't had any questions um, externally through a chat system. And therefore, we don't need to answer them. You don't need to. 
And I would like now to uh, to read out uh, the review by um, the academic advisor. Professor Vinagrada says that uh, that uh, uh, the Department of Sociological and Political Processes of St. Petersburg uh, University uh, uh, hosted uh, the research. Uh, uh, the research has been uh, carried out in a timely and active manner. Uh, the author has been part of the uh, international and Russian national conferences and workshops. And um, uh, the researcher is very uh, active, very enthusiastic about the work, and very, uh, very good at finding effective algorithm of uh, solving uh, problems that um, uh, that uh, uh, that uh, ha need to be uh, re addressed uh, during research and so the the contribution to the extremism research study uh, to extremism uh, discourse study is evident and um, this the involvement of the state and its agents in the discussion of extremism is um, elaborated on, and uh, a lot of uh, data, different types of data, uh, has been um, aggregated and studied, and the the study has uh, relevance both in theoretical and practical terms. Uh, it four papers uh, have been published uh, on the topics topic of the dissertation and the dissertation conforms to the um, to the requirements of of awarding academic degrees of candidate of sciences in St. Petersburg University and I endorse uh, uh, the application and the resolution uh, to grant the sword degree, the degree of candidate of sociological sciences. Dear colleagues, uh, we have an opportunity according to the to the agenda to uh, discuss to discuss our verdict without uh, without uh, switching off. Do we need uh, to discuss? discuss it uh, in private or do, can we continue we can continue our open discussion and our I also agree with the common opinion therefore if we if we don't need time for the deliberation private deliberation we have the the opportunity to um, vote on the resolution to grant uh, a degree of candidate of sociological sciences to uh, Grebenshikov uh, Ivan Valerievich. More than half of the Distinction um, uh, Council membership uh, should vote for the decision, uh, but not less than three people. Uh, that uh, should uh, vote in favor because we have an open uh, voting procedure. I uh, will follow the uh, order of uh, of your me of the members. I will ask each one of you uh, to say yes. To vo uh, that you vote for or against uh, uh, awarding the degree. Alenikov uh, Andrei Viktorovich, your opinion? For the uh, uh, awarding the degree, of uh, the degree. Dmitry Petrovich Garver, for awarding the degree. Maya Tushasunatsvatsaturova, your opinion? For awarding the degree. Gary Pollock, your opinion? 
for awarding the degree. Thank you. I have the pleasure to side with you, with all of you. I also agree that um, the, that Ivan Valerich is entitled to being awarded this sort degree. Uh, the chairman uh, does the count of the votes. Five uh, uh, votes out of five possible uh, votes are in favor out of the five members of the decision council. I voted in favor. No abstentions, no nays. The decision to grant, to award the academic degree of sociological sciences in the specialism 22.00.05 uh, uh, political sociology is taken. I would like to congratulate uh, Ivan Valerievich on this decision, but the procedure uh, stipulates that uh, that Ivan Valerievich has the uh, conclude the uh, the opportunity to make some concluding remarks. Uh, very short remarks, Ivan Valerievich. Dear members of the station council, dear esteemed chairman, I. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, I uh, uh, thank you for uh, mobilization f in these uh, hard times and uh, finding the resources. Uh, thank you, Dmitry Petrovich, Andrei Viktorovich, uh, 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 Professor Pollock, uh, Maya Tsheshevna. Uh, thank you very much. For th thank you, uh, Valery Dmitrievich Venagradov. Uh, who um, s who accompanied me in this uh, uh, research endeavor, and uh, and um, Admitri Vladislavich Ivanov uh, for chairing the session and uh, making sure it happened. The platform uh, f for me is uh, uh, very. Um, I'm not used to it, but it's worked perfectly. And thank you. Uh, my thanks go to the technical specialists and thank you for the high evaluation of my work and that will help me help me to develop my research and my career in the academic field academic field our procedure I is uh, c complete and uh, the defendant do you have any objections on the procedure because as you know mentioned uh, this is an unusual procedure distance learning experience do you have any objections uh, uh, any mistakes or whatever uh, only words of uh, uh, thanks uh, for for the uh, uh, the wonderful organization uh, if uh, no objections, thank you, thank you. Uh, my colleagues, uh, any, any, if you have any objections, uh, you have the the chance to do it now. If no objections, I inform you that no uh, external external. Uh, uh, reactions uh, with objections uh, are, at, are at my disposal. So thank you very much. Uh, and uh, again, Ival Varej, congratulations. Well done. The IT service, uh, thank you very much for this uh, conference. And uh, I theref thereby close officially our session thank you very much the broadcast is switched is switched thank you very much for